working on the lighting for the top part. The lights across here. What I have is a piece of styrene I cut and I have 3528 LED SMD strip on here. It will sit in like this. And then shine the light forward. Right now, I have the uh, kit piece in here, the uh, clear kit piece. I did the same thing with uh, using some fine steel wool, and then I went to some 320 grit sandpaper to uh, diffuse it. So, uh, let me hook this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Got the uh, Lights hooked up to a 9 volt. The little twinkle you see periodically is from the holes that are in the plastic kit part because they had register holes in there for the pins to go in. So I may wind up coming up with a different solution than using that piece. Well, let me turn this uh, overhead off. That's just about perfect. The brightness I want for these and it'll look a little bit brighter once it's painted the dark green because it'll be more contrast between the light and the color all right so now I can move on to lighting the windows in the bulb what I did for the lighting for the windows around the outside of the bulb here there's a ledge in here so I decided to use that to my advantage so what I did was measure it out. I cut a piece of strip styrene here. Well, I mean styrene. And then I cut another piece of styrene. And I used my heat gun to shape it. Once I shaped it, then I took some 3528 SMD light strip and went all the way around. So once I'm ready to glue everything, I'll be able to glue it in here and and when it's on it'll it'll shine all the way around and get all the lights so let me put it together and I'll put some power to it and I'll show you that okay here's the uh, where I'm at so far where the windows on the bulb I still need to diffuse the clear plastic part pieces a little more that's why you're getting some twinkling here and there plus it's hard to hold this together but I am getting full coverage on all the lights all the way around and I am happy with the brightness once I diffuse that plastic piece a little bit more it'll tone it down a little bit better alright so now I'm ready to move on to the next step the bridge piece this is the top and this is the clear piece there are indents for the windows the three windows up front with the two on the side and then there's actually one here two on the back and one here so what I've done so far is I've just taken some 320 sandpaper and gone around sanded so I can it'll help me distinguish the windows from the outside edge so that I can mask those windows and then <clears throat> My plan is to take the LED and put it in here and it will shine up and it will reflect off of the inside of the dome. So the top part needs to get a mask so it will stay clear and then the windows get masked and everything else can get painted. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. I went ahead and primed and painted the pieces that go on the top <clears throat> on the clear piece what I did is I took some Tamiya masking tape cut into strips and then went in and, and covered the windows I also cut a circle here so that when the light shines it'll be able to go through there and go through the windows 
first thing I did was I primed it with some Steinol Res Black. Two coats. Then I went over it with some Steinol Res Gray. Three coats. And then I went over it with my uh, my mixture of the for the green and did that with three coats. So now I need to take the masking off and see if it actually worked. And I'm using a three mil or a five millimeter round top red LED. Nothing was glued. I'm just holding this together. So let me stick it in here. Alright, we're getting light. Let me turn the overhead off. Alright, works. Awesome. Now I can move on to doing the spotlights on the back of the bulb area of the bridge that shine down the neck to the front bulkhead of the main hull. This is the bottom part of the bridge. These two slots right here, there's a clear piece that's supposed to go in there and then you have your LEDs mounted here and it's supposed to focus the light backwards down the neck of the of the ship. I'm not doing that. What I'm going to do is actually an idea that Boyd had um, from Trekworks, he's working on this Katinga also. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out his build so you can get more ideas on how you'd like to build yours. So, what I'm using here is a lighthouse LED. And the cool thing about these is that they focus a lot of light at the tip. So, with some modifications to the LED and then some modifications to these little slots, I'll be able to slide that in there and have it point straight back and get enough light to shine down the neck. So let me make some modifications, get another LED, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Made several modifications. Um, I got a couple pieces of tube styrene here where the, the tip of the LED will slide in there. I also had to put some uh, some strip styrene on the bottom to raise it up so that it's a little more even with the width of this piece that goes all the way around. And then I've got some strip styrene along the edges here to kind of build a box. It doesn't look exactly like what the clear pieces do, but I'm okay with that. So what I need to do now is paint. I want to paint all this. I want to paint it black and then I want to paint the green over top. And I think what I'm going to do is then once I insert the uh, the LEDs and wire them up, then I think I'm going to fill this all this space in and everything with some Aves epoxy putty because this this will be seen from the bottom of the ship. So I want to fill all that in and make it flat. Uh, it's going to be some tedious work, so I'll have to get right up on it. So let me get all this together and get it working and then I'll be back. Everything is glued, got the uh, uh, Aves epoxy putty in there, dried, sanded, uh, a couple of coats of primer, a couple of coats of black and then the green on top. So this whole piece is all wired into one circuit so I just have the two wires here. And turn it on and you can see it's working. This is uh, upside down, but as you can see, it's all is working on this piece. So this whole piece is close to done. I also did the top for the bridge. So that's all glued, wired, light blocked, all that good stuff. So that piece is ready to go. Um, that's going to do it for part seven. Part eight, I think I'm going to focus just on putting together the two photon torpedoes, the ones in the front and then of course the ones in the back and uh, getting that lighting all set up and ready to be wired into a board. 
So as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys for part eight.